Hello everyone, so welcome back to more Mass Builder. Today we're going to be doing a bunch of different frames again, so... Let's get on with things here. What I'm going to need to do is just make everything white at the beginning again. And then we'll see what we can do. This one's going to be a little bit different. Because... People have been asking me for one that is uh, is not necessarily theme, so we'll just ride with it and see what happens. Always like starting off from white because then at least you know what you're doing with all the rest of the colors later on. Because sometimes you'll just have parts that are just genuinely white, so it saves you time. I might do the easiest of these builds first. That was a re uh, request from Discord, so we'll uh, let's we'll get into this now. We'll say bye bye to the uh, Akatsuki here. It's a really nice build. If I want, I can always just build them again. I really can't wait until we get a uh, an actual. Oh God! What the hell? What happened there? A uh, an actual. Part, uh, like demo or something that allows us to save different parts that would be really nice and somehow I've forgotten to mirror stuff hang on assemble huh select style edit style yep that's fine nope cancel what about oh there I couldn't see the uh, the mirror button before, so we'll uh, we'll mirror everything here, so I'm not freaking out about missing various different suit uh, sections. And then we'll go ahead and have a laugh. I think, like I said before, I might do the easiest of these first, or I might just start with uh, the one that is all white, and we'll go from there. Just realized I need to do that section as well. And then the arm. Might actually do what I said I was going to do and do the, the easier one here. Why did that not apply to the... Oh, maybe because I didn't select white. I might have forgot the... Let's, uh, let's go back. That moment where you select style and then don't apply it. I am uh, not having a good day today in terms of uh, much luck with trying to get this to work. I think it's because I'm rushing it. I'm just like, ah, oh, can get this done and then we can get to the, uh, the testing phase and then we'll see how it looks. Uh... Right, and then the foot as well. And then we are good. Okay, so now I want different parts. This is where it's going to get interesting, because I need to find decent reference, which is going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, <laughs> right, let's, let's try this. Right, assemble. I'm going to need... Still that type of face, that's fine. The head. Maybe I should keep that, or maybe I should go with a completely different one. You guys have either got a guess, or just watch as it comes together here. This one is going to be a little bit more awkward, just because of the, uh, the lack of reference. Yeah, that one's going to have to uh, be that one. The head, I'm going to say is that one, just because of the uh, the way the face goes. Next, fine. Torso. 
They can stay like that. I was going to do a completely different suit, but... Hello, there's a GIF. Right. Let's see here. Might be able to get away with that. Armor on the front. That. Backpack can... I was going to say can stay, but no, I think it's going to be, need to be bigger slightly. Front skirts are really kind of tiny, but we'll just go with that. That one's fine. Let's go with that instead. And the side skirts are the same. We make them a little bit more pointy. Then we'll keep... Actually, no, we won't keep that one like that. We'll, we'll give it the, uh, the pointiness again. Those are fine. These arms I'm going to need to uh, have a laugh with. This one's a really pointy build. Let's try and... See if we can have different elbows here, because normally I, I default to either the pointy ones or the really flat ones. Let's see here. Those look like they'll do either that or that one, potentially. That one. I really do like that one because it's, uh, it's much more rounded in its appearance. And as for rounded, I think I can get away with that on the upper arm. Hand cover's fine. Legs? The legs on this thing are really thin. We'll, uh, we'll try that. I'm going to mess around with the, the inner frame afterwards, so... It's going to be interesting to see how this comes out. Do I need the pointy knees? Let's find out here. Try to look for more reference. Always a pain in the butt when you don't have... reference on hand too much. Let's try that one for the knee. This one is going to be incredibly... Incredibly weird. Let's try that one for armor. And then the back of the leg has this kind of like little point to it. And then the front kind of the same, so maybe I should just do that. Oh, this is going to be interesting. It looks crazy. I'm going to have to try and get the. Uh, the paint here just right. Maybe I should have done this in uh, it's kind of like a gloss white. Hello to everyone in chat by the way. There's the gloss. I've got to kind of keep it like that, that's the thing. Uh, can I go four here? We'll try some colour separation because it's really awkward to uh, Get this to look right. Zero says, noticed you match with the MP gun cannon. Oh yeah, from before. I need to actually uh, see about editing that a little bit. Helps to have a higher level bullpup. Yeah, the uh, the bullpup, if I remember rightly, was really low level. This this thing does not have a uh, forehead jewel, but we'll uh, we'll put one in to keep the Gundam theme. Crazy because the eyes are actually like this as well. So let's go with grey gloss here, and then we'll we'll slowly move down because I need to do decals as well on this, like loads of decals if I can. So can I try four, three? And we'll try messing around with three and two here. Uh, colors, we'll go red instead. Design. We'll do graphics. Let's see whether we can uh, apply stuff here. Okay, so it, from what I can see here, I'm going to need something that goes or wraps all the way around. Hopefully, 
and get something like that. Maybe that? That'd be good if I could get that on the front. Might have to sort of something like that and then adjust it. If we can just rotate like that and scale it. Can I, can I get something like that and then we'll wrap it? As long as it doesn't wrap all the way around like that. This is going to be... This one is going to be the most involved, I think, of all of them today. Oh, it wraps like that. So now I've got to figure out how this will offset. This is awkward. I've never used this uh, this decal system so much. Let's let's try getting rid of the one thing that's that's getting in my way here. The white. Time to play the guessing game against this I don't think anybody will get this one today. I really don't because it's not a Gundam in particular. So. If you're good with your anime, then maybe. Because people were on about non-Gundam stuff, so. Let's see if I can. See if I can scale this and then offset it. If I can do it about the. Can I rotate that to a place where I can then. I can go down like that, and then round. I might be able to meet this in the center. Yeah, I think I might be able to meet this in the center. Ion says, it isn't something from Full Metal Panic. No, no, I actually, I think I'll change the build lineup today and do something from Full Metal Panic as well. Like, I could do uh, the Arbalest, probably. Let's try design, graphic, and then I did that one, so that one should be the other one. Yes, it is. So now I can go color, red. Have everybody scouring the internet for images and stuff while I'm busy trying to scale this up or down. I need to wrap this round. And then... Trying to make this accurate is going to be a pain in the butt. Okay. Right. Scale needs to be a little bit more. And then I need to lower... Or move this round. <laughs> scale it down a little bit and rotate it. Actually, no, I need it to scale up a little bit more. Just so I can put it there and then I've got to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. The way that that is, I have to push that more this way. Right. And then we lower that down a little bit. Scale it down a little bit about, yeah, I'd say about there, and then we've just got to, got to keep it roughly about there. Might have to do some visual trickery here. I might be able to actually get away with some visual trickery if I do it like that, and then put the, uh, the jewel in the center of the head as red. Although, didn't people say that I can, somebody said I can mirror the, uh, the decals here. One time. Somebody somebody said it one time and I was like, wait, what? But it doesn't look like you... Can you flip, flip it on the X? No. No, you really can't do that. So, you've got to kind of roll with that. Problem is, one of the... Why is the... One of the sides longer than the other? That is weird. Uh, definitely use that one. Maybe if I s adjust this by scale, because I've got that very close to the top and bottom. Instead, if I no other way, other way, Dave. Right, if I rotate or rather scale that up just a little bit more. The offset is about there, and we rotate to about there, and just try and get that placed right. There we go, that's that's a little bit better. Then I can go into paint here, and select number three, and we'll try cheating here by doing this. Oh crap, why isn't it? Ah! 
It overlays over the top as well, so I can't cheat. That is a nightmare and a half. I pre-ordered the Arbalest flight unit along with the, Mag the uh, Magnac. I should have kept the orders separate. Good luck with the flight unit. Right, this is going to be... Maybe I can do it from the top, because that, that's a pain in the butt now. Hang on. Can we clear that for a moment? If I clear that, and clear that, and then go to the top here, we'll do number one. If I go to design and go color, and then we slap something on it like that, right? And then we go adjust. Can I wrap that? Yeah, I can. And then we scale it, and it'll go all the way over the head, so I might be able to get this done that way. Th this might actually work if I can get this looking right. Graphic, uh, I got one that goes over both sides. That one, that one might work. This is awkward when most of this is going to be decal stuff, you know. If we're really, we're really sort of pushing it in terms of where the hell we're going with the, uh, the designs here. Because if it can do crazy stuff like this, then it'll be fun to play with in the future. Got to get that to about 90. There we go. Right, can I just... Even if it's not totally 100% accurate, can I... Oh, crap, did I? Yeah. Can I scale that? And then... Can I move that back a bit? That doesn't quite work out how I wanted it to. Can we go design? I might have to forfeit this design for the moment. Let's try that one. That one might actually work better. Or even... Even that. If I can put that... Adjust. If I can put that all the way down at the front... Let's have a look here. It depends on how the, uh, the actual thing wraps, because it doesn't seem to wrap that much. It's it's really weird trying to uh, trying to mess around with some of them. Some of them just don't want to work. If I had a, a, a part at the front, I could mess around with that. Let's try a little bit more, and then if, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh... Try that one and then see if I can adjust it. And then if if I can't do this, then we'll just leave it and I'll try something else. It's a little bit easier. Right, this. If I can rotate this slightly so we can... No, it's it's the way it's textured. It is, it's not going to work out. I'm going to have to forfeit that design. I'm not even going to bother telling people what it was going to be. Right. That's, that's unfortunate. I've been defeated once by this, so we'll uh, we'll do something else. Uh, let's try something easy. Stick with that. Head can be different here. Uh, let's try that. Side of the armor can be the same, I think. Hang on. check this out okay do that do that next fine torso needs to be totally different here I'll go with go with that front armor can we actually take the front ah oh, no we take the front armor off and it does that seriously game trying to play around with it and see just exactly what we can get out of it and it, it just absolutely wrecks me for the uh, the front there I mean it's fine and all but we'll, uh, we'll unequip the backpack because we don't need it front skirts 
Uh, let's see, I need something that's a little bit more blocky. Let's go with that. Side skirts. I'm still a little bit upset about that first one. I thought I'd be able to do that, but apparently not. Uh, I've had one defeat on the uh, the suit builder. These arms, I need these to be more boxy. Well, that should do. I'm going to make everything else more blocky as well. I'm going for like really bulky boy here at the moment. Still upset about that defeat. Hello to everyone in chat, by the way. I know I'm gathering more people here as we go. Uh, let's do the simple one. Hand cover is fine. Legs. Legs, legs, legs. Legs are still as bulky. I think I'll go with that. Don't think I've made something so bulky before. Just all bulk. Let's try that. The armor for the legs here. I think I'm going to go with that. Keep the... Uh... Actually, no. I'll get rid of the... Uh, no, maybe I won't. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can get rid of the uh, the ankle armor. This is one that, that Discord's been asking for for a while, so... Let's try... That one. And then the front... Let's try going with that. Right. This one should be super easy to uh, to pick apart here in terms of painting and everything. So, let's see. I need... Where's my chrome silver? Don't have it. So, we'll have to go... We'll do style 14 for a moment. Then we'll edit style 14. To Rome Silver. Right. Edit style. There's Chrome Gold. Why did that not save then? Rome Silver. Gundam guy says hello. Hello. See, now it's doing it. That's weird. It's really weird. Can we can we make that a little bit more silvery? There we go. All right, I'm gonna have to do this. Kind of. Let's say that. What are we building today? It's up to you guys to guess. Somebody is gonna get this really easily. I know that for a fact. Uh, let's try that. And we'll do that in uh, grey metal. It's like I could have just done that and somebody will probably get it. I used, I think it was dark blue for this one. Yeah, we're looking good. This this should be a giveaway for someone. Hey, Mecca. Mecca's got there already. Let's try and add a little bit of flair to this. It's just Prime. I know, right? Everybody immediately, immediately was like, yeah, it's Prime. Right, so. Let's go ahead here and finish this up. Because people were saying, like, I, I should do a, uh, a different set of color schemes. So we're going to go ahead here and do good old truck, ca uh, truck cab Prime. I think it was uh, Ion that said I should do this. So, let's try and see if we can build him up here and even give him his... Details for his windows and things. I'm looking at this and thinking I can I can do this at the moment. It should be easy. Should be. Then again, I thought the other one would have been easy, so not quite what I thought was going to happen. There's a, a limited number of mechs with a bl massive blue forehead. 
Yeah, I'm trying to do G1 Prime here, so... We'll have to... I'll have to leave those bits as red. I'm trying to make this as G1 as possible. The only problem is, I can't make the, the waist section the white. Because if I do, it takes away most of the red, although... It was... Uh, I, I can try and get away with this as much as possible. Let's let's see if this works. Window bra. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make it as close to that as possible, but we we have some limitations for this that I'm slowly seeing. Right, this bit, this bit, and this bit need to be grey. Well, we'll make it the chrome, and then the other bit needs to be red. Okay, okay, that's not that's not too bad. Can I make that other bit red just to give it a bit more in the front? Okay. It kind of looks like Galaxy Convoy or Cybertron Prime. Yeah. I think I'd go with that at the moment. Doesn't have a backpack. He needs to borrow one. Right, then we got... We'll do like this this grey metal here. In fact, I might use the gloss one. I'm the only person that finds the design element on Optus Prime is a little bit tiring, says Devisia. I think it's because we've had so many of them, you know? You're not meant to have like a million primes. <laughs> Let's try. Do that. And then for for this we'll try some really cheeky. Panel colors here. If we mirror that, we can get the front sections. Keep that as, a, as it is. Keep the, the rear sections. That's all fine. That's just prime. Right now, I can I can split up certain elements here, so I can do like that as the smokestack. If I make that chrome silver, that'll work. Like, it, you're going to have to definitely use your imagination here, but... This big bulky boy can, uh... I think it will work it. Just going to make sure I've mirrored everything here, otherwise Prime is going to look... A bit of a mess. Now, the thing is, depending on which arm I've chosen at the end here, I might be able to get away with some yellow. No, let's try... Can cancel that for a moment. Let's try different armor on the end here, because I want to try and get away with that yellow that he has for the, uh, the G1 there. Ah! There, I can get away with it. Haha! -ha! Oh, I'm liking that. That's a little bit more accurate. Oh, I forgot we gotta do the inner frame on his hands blue. We gotta we gotta see if we can get this. Devisius says I just look at Prime on my shelf and what I see right away that doesn't have that is Armada. Armada Prime was cool. Even in Cybertronian form. But let's go with Dark Metal here. Thing is, I need to see about this inner frame now, because the inner frame is going to give me problems. Oh, the inner frame has to be in blue if I want to do this. That is a problem and a half. Let's see if I can... Where's it? Dark, dark metal. Oh, that looks terrible just to match up the, uh, the hands. Uh, no, I can't do that. I'm going to have to uh, keep that like that. Uh, what was it up to? It was up to the hand here. I can, however, do the, uh, the sub-elements for the frame in a slightly darker style. Match it up a little bit. Right, and then the legs here have got to be... Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. The thighs were grey.
mirror this, and then we'll do the blue here. Yeah, we can get away with that. I might be able to get away with some colour separation at the bottom here. We'll, uh, we'll find out now. I think I can get away with the, uh, what would be... Isn't it the, uh, the water cans or fuel cans on the side? I think I can get away with that. And then, obviously, the uh, the heels and everything else are just blue. This is going to be interesting seeing Prime in uh, in this game. I'll give him a couple of different weapons as well. Can I, uh, can I try and mix this up and do a little bit of grey on the feet here? Okay, that that works. If I if I back this up for the moment, okay, I'm liking that. We'll just take some screenshots. I just realized my microphone is going to be really loud. Let's tone it down slightly. Doesn't look too bad. Could be worse. Right. Weapons time. We need an axe and a rifle. We'll keep the rifle uh, from every other suit that I've used. I'll uh, I'll try and change out one of these other weapons here. We'll do the the spear and we'll just edit the uh, the spear. We'll do the grip. We'll give it a slightly smaller grip. Say that one. Oh, why am I doing paint here already? And then at the end we'll give it the axe. Gunham Guy says, hello, isn't it strange that Primal is more of a standalone character than any other version of Prime? Yeah. Hang on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this and see if I can get it working in my favor, otherwise I'm going to have to do a different grip. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with the, um, the dual grip here. This this is going to be a problem because then I've got to do like one side axe and then the other side has to be something else I can't just leave it without that is a problem that's we're going to have to just do that for it just give him a full blown axe yeah I think I'm going to have to and then of course Mecha says, Earth to Senpai. Let's give him the, uh, the gloss coat here and then we'll change it. Actually, if I go to, let's go to style one. Edit style. Style one, we'll do, uh, orange. And then we need to... I don't want it to be too metallic, but I want it to shine. Trying to get it just right here. Can we, uh, can we just all of this in orange? I don't have pie, senpai. That's why you don't get an answer every time. Wait, what? Right, so we've got the the axe, we've got the rifle. That's about all we need for prime, like bur basic prime. So we'll uh, we'll take him into the mission. That does look cool. <laughs> Yeah, 
There we go. Why don't I just base the axe on the one he has in War for Cybertron? Because I'm going with the the classic one, which is just a, a huge energy on a axe that he just pulls out of his hand. This is working. Oh. Thing is, it shines a little bit. Gives it the, a different appearance. But I can't really give it that glow. I'd have tried to make it look like the Fuari model axe. I just went with the classic. Not much I could do after that. It's a bronze axe. Yeah, they don't have any glow effect. I wish they had like a, a glow effect. Turn around to Vermillion and be like, please, can you just do a... Uh, a glow effect for the uh, the materials because we know you can do it. Who else is excited for a Megatron Origin movie? Says Gundam Guy. Wait, what? Can you make G Savior? Unless it's already being made. You can try it at some point. I've got a huge list of suits that I want to make, but today is non Gundams, which is why we got Optimus Prime here. What I'll do is I'll add G-Savior to the list later on. Oh, whoa, whoa. Because my list of uh, suits already is like an extra 30 here, so I've already made like 15 or something. That's still to... Yeah, that's because the uh, the frame rate lag. Don't know why I get frame rate lag on this, to be honest, but... It only happens in certain situations. I'm trying to pinpoint where. I think it might be when they throw a load of uh, debris up on screen. Oof. I know it happens around here in a moment. I saw a neat G-Savior made out of a combination of freedom and I think built burning Gundam. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. We're starting to get more enemies on screen. It might be the poly count of the enemies. Not quite sure. Can we just... Oh, oh. There we go. Slowly whittling through these enemies. Oh, well. Come on. The hell happened there? Some builder took the narrative kit and bashed parts of the HG Savior and it looks like an amazing revive. There we go. Taking out almost everybody else here. Let's just... Let's target that guy in the back. There we go. Taking out everybody else, it's just me and him. One shall stand, one shall fall. Why is Optimus Prime fighting Ru uh, Grim from Ruby? I know, right? Beat it. It's a crossover game. <laughs> Mission clear. There we go. That build was really easy to do. I didn't mind that. The problem is you can't fire at the end though, so you gotta... 
I always try and do like a, an, an action pose at the end, but just jumping isn't really amazing. Okay, so that was Prime. Try to have a look here. What I, I did have on the cards, because I've got to now change things up here. Let's try. Someone paid a lot of money to mess with the cannon. <laughs> right. I think I might do Ion's request here, I think it was. I've been wanting to do that as well. So. Go on, we'll try. So, this one's going to look a little bit different for a while. Let's see if I can change the armor here. Might be able to get away with that, although I'm not sure, because I was looking at the, uh, the mouthpiece. Might actually keep that like that. Head armor is more streamlined, so we'll go with that. The sides of the head, I'm going to need vents on, so we'll go with... We'll go with that. Or even, even that, that looks a little bit better. Neck. Torso, that's going to be that. I think I'll go with that, because that is, is way too much for... Uh, the front of the suit. That's fine. Backpack doesn't have one. I like suits that don't have backpacks. They're really easy to mess around with. Right. This. Give me that. I'm starting to get a headache, says Gundam Guy. Get a drink, maybe? Uh, let's see here. I think. I can do that for this one. Side skirts. Doesn't seem to have any, so we'll take off the side skirts. Can't remember whether this suit has any rear skirts either. Let's see what it looked like without rear skirts. Eh, not too bad. Let's let's mirror that up. Rear of the suit. Let's try. Try that. Okay. Arms. I keep using these arms. They're, they're used on a lot of designs. Um, other armor needs to be eh, slightly, slightly wider. Ion, I hope you're here for this build, by the way. Or at least see it. Let's try and go a little bit better here with the armor. I reckon I can get away with... Ooh, let's have a look. Trying to do this one is a little bit more awkward because the the color separation. We'll try that. Who else here is a common rider fan? I'm gonna start with builds as Gundam guy. I started with decade. That was okay. Keep the hands, legs. Got to do those differently, so we'll make them slightly less blocky. Try that simplistic, thin-lined neither, and then the the legs. We'll just go straight back to basics. Last camera I had the patience for was double, says Devisia. Double was really fun. Let's try. Looks like that's a little bit. It's a little bit thin on the ankle armor here. Let's uh, try doing this. Mirror that. Front here. We'll do that instead. Give it a little bit more cushion underfoot. And then I've got to do Ion's request here. So, the actual inner frame can stay like that. The elements to the face. I need to change out and I'll be gloss white again, I think. This is going to be... I've got to go gloss white over everything again for the moment. Apart from maybe the neck. The neck needs to be... 
What I was meant for. I never watched a Kamen Rider before. I'm gonna start watching Build. I need to get around to watching Build. I watched everything from Decade up until Build. It was okay. Decade was fun. Double was great. Um, O's was a bit weird. Gaim was fun. Forze got better over time. Wasn't fantastic, though. Uh, Wizard was just really weird. Um, <laughs> trying to remember some of the other ones here. Uh, Ghost. Didn't really like Ghost. I remember what other ones we've had. It does have rear skirt armor. Cole found that kit bash. I'm just gonna open this up. In the link. Does it have rear skirt armor? I actually can't remember. Yeah, Gundam guy. I am. DVC says it does have rear skirt armor. Let's, let's try and check here. I've thing is, I've got it in the uh in the cabinet next to me, and hello, the new one looks like it has side skirts. Ah! Yeah, it has side skirts. I'm gonna have to uh, add those. Right. Armor um, looks like that for the side skirts, I think, or even that. Let's let's go grab my uh, my high grade. It does, the uh, side skirts are a little bit more boxy, and the rear skirts are huge. So we'll, uh, we'll go with that. I have the guns back and it has a back skirt. Right. I have the, uh, the Arbalest. I did it up a while back. I've got a video of it on the, the channel. I did it. So it looked like it was the metal build version. I just I like doing stuff like that where you take the uh, the original kit, and make it look like it's a, it's a little bit more expensive than you would have uh, liked to have spent on something. What I'll do is I'll go over it in white first, and then I'll go over it in the uh, that kind of dark blue that the Arbalest has. It's it's like the Titans colors. A little bit. Catching up on the stream. Did you look at the link of the kit bash? I can't on stream. I really can't. I've not got any other uh, screens to use here to look at. So that's something that I can't do, unfortunately. I'll have to look at it off stream. Because I'm using one screen to look at the... Uh, the game and another screen to keep an eye on the stream and feed and everything. I need another screen so I can uh, and I can look at other things off stream. They just need like I've said this before. They need a select all button so I can just. Smash select all and the next minute it just does everything in one color. Right. Did I do those in gloss? Yeah, I did. To be honest, the FMP models are a bit pricey for HG. Yeah. I see. Either way, I think it's pretty cool. Is this an IBO suit you're making? No, no. It's non-Gundam this time, so we're doing the uh, the Arbalest from Full Metal Panic. I just need to get the right colors here. The face around the eyes is dark like that head right I'm gonna do those two the uh, the custom color here there's that blue it's like Titan I should rename that to Titans blue it really is. <laughs> uh, 
<coughs> Excuse me. That's as best as I can get for there at the moment. Looks somewhat accurate. The G Savior mock up says Mecca. I have seen some kids, they look good, but Rooster Teeth, having made Genlock, I can't unsee similar designs. Yeah, Genlock is a, uh, a bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> you know, it's like you're busy trying to make stuff, and then next minute it's like, oh, it looks like a Holland. That reminds me, I need to make a Holland for a laugh just to see if we can get that done. Let's try that. Then we've got dark grey going on here, gunmetal. The front is a bit of the same, so we've got... All of this is going to be... Because you can't mount a knife on its front face, I know, right? That would be awesome. We've got the backpack, we've got the front skirts of which are split up slightly. Oh no, wait, it's the uh, the waist section. Mr. Hadios Funhouse says, what is this game available on? Welcome to back to the stream again. Not seeing you in a while. Um, this is on Steam at the moment. Free demo. You can uh, download it and play it. It's really fun. It runs on Unreal Engine 4, PC only at the moment. I think I've said that twice, but we'll uh, we'll just roll with it. Two, which one was three here? Can I not get? Hang on. So I can only do that with those? I might have to change the uh, the armor here. That is kind of messed up. Let's try that one. Okay, I can uh, I can do that. I don't have a fancy PC. Yeah, if it can run Unreal Engine 4, it can run this. Uh, the back skirt, I don't think, had any color in it, so we'll leave it. The, the main part of the arm was white, so I'll do... I'll do those sections, that Titan style. Blow and try and see if I can fit some yellow in here for the vents. How does that... If I, if I get some... Actually, if I get some gold in there... Or even that one... I'll do the orange gold that I used on the... Uh, the Akatsuki, because that actually... Kind of works a little bit better for the vents. That's fine. The, this needs to be... White with a little bit of grey. So... The, the, uh, I think we'll leave it like that. Gun metal that. Mirror that. Is this game graphics and memory intensive? I've not actually checked, to be honest. I'm going to have to uh, check and see. I think if I do that, it's like style and go. Okay, we got some color separation though, which is accurate. Up until the leg parts here. Can you? It's controller compatible. Yeah, I, I plug my uh, my Xbox 360 controller in all the time. It works just fine. Really good. The one thing I like about Arm Slaves is the armor of the Arblist on the leg itself is rather than the actual skirt. <laughs> Yeah, because it means that it can move with it, so the mobility is better. Right now, this is... It's like dark... It's the, the Titan's blue, and then it's got the, the grey with it as well, so we'll do... Do that there for that. And then we got the... The, the lighter grey, which I'll put... 
Up there like that. Mirror this. That. I'll break that up a little bit with some... Uh, some grey here. It's good metal. Just do that a little bit. What design are you going for? We're doing the Arbalest from Full Metal Panic. What I'm doing here is just trying to figure out how this is going to look. Because then I've got to do a bunch of knives. Well, actually, I can do just one knife. And then I've got to do the, uh, the shark cannon for it. And then we're good. So, if I take this now... That doesn't look too far off, to be honest. That actually looks pretty cool. I wish I'd done the Arbalest to begin with. Thing is, the eyes are yellow. So, we'll change the eyes here. At least it looks yellow on the, the image that I've got here. Unless it's wrong. I swear they were like that cyan blue that I've got them already, but I could be wrong again. This is the only problem when you're trying to look up reference images instead of actually using the kit that's behind you on a shelf. Give me a sec, I'll look at the kit. Ah, yep. <laughs> the kit's eyes look like a bluey green, so we're fine. Good enough. Paint job makes the mech. Yeah, it really does. Right, so we got the weapons. What I'll do is I'll do the uh, the knives and the shot cannon. Are you gonna do the upgraded version from the newest season? Well, it's the uh, not the Arbalest. The I'm trying to remember the ARX eight. Oh, it's been a while since I watched FMP. I'm trying to remember. The Invisible Victory was amazing, but I uh, I only watched it like once. I've not gone back to it. I really need to. Um. God damn it, that moment where you can't remember something off the top of your head. Lavatane, yeah. So good. There we go, I'll have my little combat knife here. Thank you very much for that mecha, by the way. Completely saved me again. <laughs> here we go, so we need... That and then we'll just do the uh, the edge of the blade style two, and then edit style two. Huh? Why is that? Oh, I see. Mecha for the save. Yeah, I was trying to remember. I'm there, like floundering with the um, the tablet next to me thinking wait a minute I know this you know I'm trying to remember it, it just uh, was not coming to my head old age just hit me really bad guys <laughs> shotgun trigger okay right so we got that we got the shotgun section lavatane is one of those words with a weird spelling yeah it really is I knew the name I didn't know how to spell it, it says Devisia that's cool I, uh, I, I love the way, Jen, we stopped streaming there for a moment because you're trying to walk behind me with pumpkin pie. <laughs> it's like, problem? It's like, yeah, you're walking behind me with pumpkin pie on stream. Well. Yeah, freshly made pumpkin pie. And I'm just like, I, uh, I would like some of that, please. <laughs> right, we'll try and get some uh, color separation here. Is that got a lens in it there? Yeah, it does. Screen. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Pumpkin pie for the win. Everybody says hi, by the way. Hello. <laughs> yep, the shotgun. Yeah, we got the shotgun. We got the uh, the knife, and I think we'll do a rifle as well, you know, because they've got the, uh, in the kit anyway, they've got that modular rifle, the machine gun. Uh, actually, no, wait, we can't do that because of the way that it is. Ah, we're just going to 
we're gonna have to go with the shotgun and the knife here. So, if I just screenshot that, and then we go mission, then we can have a laugh at the mission. Here we go! This is the second suit of tonight. I love the way it immediately equips you with the sword, no matter what. There we go, we got piercing damage here, so we can just... Nope, not gonna get caught, not like that. There we go, just run in, stab with the knife. The gigantic Spass, yeah. Spass 12, French shotgun. I think it's French anyway. Don't really use the energy shotgun too much in this, although I did change the rounds to uh, physical. I love the way that most of these like one hit, apart from the, the giant guys, which seems to be about seven hits. Jeez. One, two. That guy got two to the face from the knife. Is there a story to the game? Yeah, I've just not really paid too much attention to it, to be honest. I was too busy having a laugh at the, uh, the customization options. I'll have to actually look into it properly. There is also uh, enemy mecha coming in the future, so... I think the Lavatane shows up in the soundtrack of Mega Man Zero Four. Can't recall what the track is, though. Huh. Can we, can we get the shotgun back here? Although, I do like the way the... Uh, Controls need a lot of work. They bug out sometimes, says uh, Kuroku Koki, I think that name is. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Yeah, the, there is a bug with the controls where it will send you forwards when you don't want to go forwards in combat. The, the devs, when we were streaming the last time, said about that. Sorry if I butchered the name again. Uh, they said that they were going to do PvP in the multiplayer. They said they were going to add a lot more stuff. They should... Have at minimum like 600 parts. Uh, we we did the math wrong one time and uh, came up with about 900. It all really depends on how much they want to add into it. I don't know whether there's going to be workshop support, but they're they're still adding a lot to it. Apparently they want it done by August, so uh, gonna be interesting to see how this comes out. They even said they were going to tone down the operator's jiggle physics in the. Uh, the cutscenes, but we told them not to. And yeah, it's a Kickstarter project, so you gotta kind of... Also understand that... Oof. It's gonna be a little bit... Risky for a Kickstarter project. Like everything, really, on Kickstarter. Workshop support would be amazing, I know, right? It is definitely one of the better Kickstarter projects that I've taken interest in before, just because of the amount of stuff that you can do with just a demo. It's like when we were originally doing the uh, Mission clear. the the first stream for this, we did look at it, and it's just like, well, for a demo, two levels, training mission and this, and then how much customization they've got in it. It's actually really good. Leaves a, uh, a good kind of... Uh, impression on you that makes you think you know what if they just they just mess around with this a little bit more in future and refine it a little bit it'll be a fun game basic but fun pay to keep the jiggle physics says mr hanio's fun house yeah i i said like they shouldn't give in to um to western culture and that they should just uh, keep the jiggle physics for a laugh and more people would buy it 
I think we need to start a campaign for that where we just turn around and uh, show them how many people are interested in them actually keeping their original ideas. Or at least that sort of uh, element of it. Right, now this this next one, this one's going to be... Get a copy of the demo in case the project goes under. Indeed. Uh, I think I might... I still have the file for the Kickstarter project, so... Now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble a completely different suit again. The last one of the, uh, I would say the evening, but it really isn't. I always end up building later on, and I always do three suits each time, so. And the devs do come in on occasion, which is really nice of them, because they don't have to, but it is nice when they do that. Uh, let's try, I'm going to try and give it a different face mask. I hope they beef up the sound effects. Yeah, I uh, I had a feeling that the sound effects would be placeholder. I wonder if you could make zero out of this game. Huh. Whoa. <laughs> that moment where you're having pumpkin pie at the same time on stream and then it starts burning the inside of your mouth because it's so hot but you still like it so you still eat it Ooh, hot 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 I was trying not burning myself to pieces here while I'm doing this last suit you guys might again be able to get this just by uh just by looks, but we're going to see here because I might use the different backpack as well. I'm not quite sure. No, I'll go with the uh, the one that actually works. Um, this always works when the colors line up, so you might not be able to get it for now. This is why I said send pie, says Devisia. Yeah. Boost morale for someone giddy about playing the game, says Mecha. Yeah, I'll agree with you there. I mean, obviously, the, the looking at it and thinking, look, this guy's doing videos on almost daily basis. He's really excited. So, uh, no, free publicity for us. That's fair enough. I do not mind them doing that. I mean, at the end, they benefit from it, so... They benefit from it. I get to have a laugh. We all get to talk about the game while we're... watching me build stuff, so... It's all good. I've not used that before. Let's use that. This suit is a little bit smaller. I need to get rid of the WDF bits there. Uh, <laughs> right. Just uh, ignore the colours for now because the colours are not going to be the. Oh, excuse me. Are not going to be the same by the end. Armor on the elbows. Uh, let's go with that. Yeah, the pie was really nice. The problem now is I've got infinite pie for later on. <laughs> I have infinite pie, John. Yeah. Oh, I'll have some more later. Yeah, thank you very much, though. No, I'm good. I know, it's just in the other room. I'm good. <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Stop tempting me on stream. <laughs> no. No. I don't need coffee. If I have coffee now, that'll be crazy. Right, this is going to be... This is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to try and... Get this looking right here. The problem is, it, the it always messes up the uh, the screen when that happens. Right. This is paint job wise. This is a little bit different. So what we'll do, gunmetal. 
I think, for most of this, or maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with dark grey metal for most of it, and then you guys will see when uh, when I'm doing this what I'm going to be going for. Like a lot of you have said, it's as as the build goes on over time, you get to figure out what it is, but. The initial stages are just like, wait, what? What's going on here? It's just shapes taking form slowly. Is the antagonist suit from FMP? No, no, no. Not FMP related, this one. I'm trying to do uh, different ones. Because we've done Prime, we've done the Arbalest. This one's from completely different anime. Just wait, this... Do not jump at it just because I'm doing it in grey. The grey is like a, I would say a very minor bit. It's like getting the inner frame done. I'm going to be doing the actual other colour separation over the top. I just thought that if I get the, the grey placed down, then I'm not having to sort of figure stuff out later on. And I can just do the other layer over the top. Red herring. No, no, no. I'm literally just layering the uh, the base layers down like I normally do with Gundams, where I put all the white on and then do all the other colours. Well, this one, I could have done it a different colour, but I, I just wanted to uh, layer this colour down first, and then I can pick out the other areas that are going to be the actual base layer. Th this is akin to doing uh, a Gundam white and then having to put down the actual colour on it later on. So yeah, just give it a break, just a little bit, and then uh, after everything's done here, then it'll take form, and you guys will see. I just need to do everything grey first, and then I'm going to pick it apart in its only other colour, because this really only... I actually know there's three colours to it. One of them is very primary, and then I need to do a load of decal work, so... Primer guy. Yeah, I'm literally... I'm literally just going over this in what is primer. I've always wanted to try and do a suit like this where you just throw primer on it just for a laugh because it looks like a, a 3D render if you do it just right because the way primer tends to catch all the uh, the panel lines and everything and all the little details. still liked it when I did the uh, X here and I did the chrome sections here on the uh, the inner parts of the leg to make it look like the uh, the GM wires I think it was. The bits that glow red when it, like bright red when it, it goes trans -am. But in normal form, they're like purple. Gonna game it says nice, bro. Nah, it'll get better in a bit. For anyone that's just tuning in, we did Optimus Prime, we did the Arbalest. Now I'm just doing the last suit for the moment, and then we'll uh, we'll come back probably at a later point this evening and do the other three suits, because I, I like doing three every now and again, and then I'll get new ideas, and then I'll come back and do more. Alright. Main colour is going to start going on in a moment. I need to do... I just realised that I can really use white here. This, this is where the actual colours are going to go into it. Actually, I'll do that one different as well. So, I think I'll take that. Okay, right. Here we go. This is where I have to figure everything out. That, that, and that are going to be... Needs to be darker. Right. Somebody's going to get this instantly, I can tell. Uh, let's see here. I'll leave that. And do those two. That'll work. Leave that. Uh, 
Right. Then I've got to do certain sections of this are going to be darker, so we'll do the uh, the gun metal in here. There's only so many orange mags. Yeah, there really is. Right, that one. That bit. I, I can do those white. And then do those bits. They're not really orange. They're more like, they're more like the inner frame. But I'll uh, I'll throw some more orange in there because there is a distinct lack of orange in the torso here. Sides. I'll do a little bit of highlighting there. Backpack gonna be all orange apart from like, one or two sections. And that that'll work. Front section is just all orange, I think, apart from I'm gonna, gonna leave a bit there. Th this is starting to come out. It's going to be interesting seeing if I can actually do the uh, the panels on it later. It's looking okay for the moment. The problem is this only has a machine gun, so I'm just going to have to go with a rifle and deal with it. I don't have all the, uh, the reference for this as well, so we're going to have to just roll with this and see how it looks. Okay, not too bad so far. A little bit shiny, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Right, that one I can do. That one and the rest I can leave. We'll mirror that, but we'll also, on the decals, we'll take off the, the number two one. On the number one design, so we'll just we'll clear that up, and then the second one, clear that up, and then we'll mirror that. Right, we're doing okay here so far. I like the way that this actually has loads of color, color separation. I'm dancing, f or I'm glancing back and forth at Dalong while trying to figure this out. It's a, uh, it's an anime that not many people like purely because of the way it was done. Gen Orobuchi uh, did the first episode, I think, writing-wise, and then it all kind of went downhill a little bit. That's about as much as I can give in terms of, uh... hints without actually spelling out the plot of it. Somebody say it already, says Mac. I know, right? I'm thinking that myself. I'm just like, come on. Come on. There's not much white in this. It's going to be good if I can actually get the, uh, the decals on here properly. I'm looking at just a couple of the decals and I'm like, yeah, I think I can do this. Mackie, you might want to do it eventually if nobody else is getting it. <laughs> no. No, it really isn't. Although that reminds me, somebody said I should do the Lancelot, so I'm going to have to add that to the list of, uh, list of things I'm going to be creating in this. I'm going to split this up a little bit. I don't think Jeremiah would be proud of this. Um, but that, almost all of this, I'm gonna have to leave as gray, so I'll do that. It, one thing I see looks very similar, says Davicia. It's probably it then. I'm 
I'm slowly getting here. The thing is, it it's a weird anime. It's kind of one of those things where you watch it and you're like, okay, the action's good, but or kind of okay, but the actual story behind it is meh. Now I need to go ahead and do the uh, the decals here, which is going to be a pain in the butt because I can't actually. I was going to say I can't see any, but then I realised there weren't any on it. The soundtrack is done by the same guy that did Unicorn. Yeah, Sawano. Sawano does the, uh... The soundtrack. Wait, can I? Not on the adjust. If I can actually do this, then it would be really nice. Can we just... Actually, that might need to be a little bit wider. Can I? Can I just go with the, uh... The white over the top here? And then try and offset this? Just about every other anime nowadays. Yeah, Salmono does a lot now. Let's try a seat. That's not going to work, that design. I'm going to have to go for like the thinner strips. If I can. If we've got any. Do we have any? Come on, game. Don't be stingy here. I, I need this design to work. Oh, this is going to be crazy. I'm going to have to try... Maybe try that. The problem is, if I do that... I don't know whether I can get it on both sides of the head or not. Adjust. Let's let's see here. Can I? I've I've made this in armored core as well. That's not so much of a uh, a giveaway to anybody, but trying to get this to work is a pain in the butt because of the way this looks. But I will take that. Now the question is, where is the second one? Can I do that with? Another one. It does not look like I can. Oh, that's that's above the eyebrows. Ah, no! Right, so... It's two and three above, like, the eyebrows here. Let's... Yeah, it is. So, number one. If I take number one and clear it, I can do it on both sides of the head. With the, uh, the previous one that I had. What is it? Try that on this side, and then we'll do adjust, uh, make the scale huge, and then we'll go color, white. I remember you did some texture model imports of this thing. Yeah, I think that was when I was going back and watching bits of it again. It's it's weird, because, like, it's, a, it's an okay watch from time to time, but it's not something that you turn around and be like, yeah, this is definitely the pinnacle of Mecha, you know. You look at it and think, you know, nothing could get any better than this. It's amazing. It's on the same level as Gundam. It really isn't. I need to, uh, need to scale this down just so I can figure out where the hell it is as well. Ah, the... Right. Rotate. Can I just... If I can stick with that, I'll be happy. Just, just do this. I just like the design of this, or rather, I like the colours. <laughs> the colours are pretty. That's simple enough for Dave. The novelty wears off after a few episodes. It really does. What mech are you building? Oh, right. Seeing as nobody's guessed it, I'll uh, I'll do it myself. This is the the trainer cataphract from Aldenoa Zero. A uh, a slightly I'd say terrible anime. <laughs> it's not too bad, but it's not too good either. Mecha says, don't do it after I've said it. I know, I, I just had to. I had to. I had to put people out of the misery. Can I X-wrap that? Because I think... There we go. Right, now I can wrap that. Up to that corner. <coughs> I do that to about there. And then I've just got to rotate it. 
problem with this is most of this build is going to be me faffing around with the decal system. Demetria says, never heard of it. Nothing from the series on that long. It did get a couple of figures and stuff, but not too many. You can find them if you go on Amazon. Let's see, I should be able to, if I go for like, what? Oh, what the hell? Why are they on the back here? <laughs> um, adjust, can we, uh, can we clear that for the moment? Actually, can we clear that on the left as well? If we go to three here, because that's the wrong way around. Number one, can I get like a label here that just goes over the top of it? Uh, save, adjust, wrap, and then we'll go scale and just go crazy with the scale and then we'll offset it a little bit to about there. We'll offset that again. Do I have to? Ah! If I wrap that, it goes all the way over like that, so I've got to then choose a different design for this. I'm going to have to just keep choosing this because of how far it goes. There's worse animes out there. There really is. It's not, it's not terrible, but it's not amazing. You can watch it and be like, oh, okay, that was neat. No, yeah, it's about it. Gonna have to try and... I'm gonna have to take it like that. We'll mirror that. And then, um, where it says... Have we got, have we got some other things here? Ah, there we go. Can I flip that? Trying to, uh, trying to make this a little bit more personalized than some of the other stuff. I don't know why, because it's just a cataphract, but... Maybe I have some, like, hidden love of Aldo Noah Zero here. It's finally coming out on stream. Aldo Noah's plot goes somewhere weird with its second season. Yeah, it really does. It really does, which is unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Uh, let's just try... Warning, high temperature area. Well, kinda, because the booster's there, so let's... Yeah, I'm outing myself here as some, like, secret Aldenoa Zero fan, because I've got all the, uh, the patience to put in all these individual markings on certain areas. Why are you even doing this, Dave? It's not really needed. Um... I'm just, the thing is with the cataphract, it's more made up by its decals. I think that's why I'm trying to put a little bit more effort into it. It's only got a couple of them though, which is, is good because all it really is is just the, uh, the stuff on the, the front skirt here. We go that one, we go number one. We go to design, graphics. You label, and I just put a one there. We're, we're more or less done here. I just need the, uh... The leg. Number three on the leg. I can choose that and go... The orange colour is its identity. Yeah, but it's broken up by that white. If it wasn't broken up by the white, then it would just look... I don't know, really plain. Let's see if I can... Can I wrap that and then just... Oh, no. Doesn't work. Doesn't work how I wanted it to. I was trying to get it around the front. What about... What about ye old faithful here? If I, uh... I try and adjust this, we rotate it. 
like that, and then I just offset this a little. Yeah, that ain't working. Let's just take it as it is. Clear that. It's done. It's literally just a giant orange. Yeah. The only way I can get the uh, the other bits there to even look remotely accurate is if I just paint the uh, the bottom there like I've done with the arm. So if I just go, whoops, it easy. Mirror that. There we go. We've done a shortcut. It's a small shortcut. All, an all orange mecha says to me it's a two, uh, trainer slash test bed. It is. In the, uh, <coughs> what happens is in the anime, people have colonized Mars from what I remember. And they have a, uh, a fight that destroys part of the moon called the Lunar War. They, uh, use weapons called cataphracts, which are originally Martian in design, if I remember rightly, to fight each other. And the Earth ones look very blocky. Uh, the trainer ones are used for kids in a school. What happens is the uh, the kids at an early age learn how to fight using these uh, giant machines. And then, of course, they get sent out to war. Everything goes to hell in the uh, the first, I think it's first or second episode. And uh, lots of people die. Let's see here. It's got an interesting premise, but the second season just goes terrible. We'll, uh... We'll take that, and I think... I'll take a missile part as well. Actually, no. The first episode ends with ten or so colony drops as Mecha. Yeah, if you, uh... If you had a laugh at the colony, colony drops from Gundam, or just the memes, they actually do drop tons of, uh... Tons of colonies on Earth, which are called landing castles, that are essentially like Martian, uh, almost like Martian portable bases that just impact everywhere and wherever the impact is, like ten nukes going off at the same time. It's uh, it's really crazy. A lot of people get vaporized. I forgot this has a, a rifle, not a shotgun, but we'll take it. Can I, uh... The only reason I've given it a bazooka here as well is because they can outfit with a, uh, either a small SMG or, I guess, sniper rifle. So the bazooka here is like a stand-in for the sniper rifle, which they only use in like one scenario or two, if I remember rightly. And this guy's just running around me and avoiding everything because of the, uh, the slow projectile speed on this. The trainer doesn't change much throughout the show. It really doesn't. You have, like, the one that the main character uses, this one, which is in orange. And then, uh, the, all the other ones are in, like, military green. And then the only thing that does change is the backpack that allows them to go into space. Basically, it gets this giant backpack in the, uh, the second season that is just a load of grappling hooks that are just attached to it for, uh, grabbing onto certain things, which also end up, like, uh shields because of the way that they're designed. Imagine the uh, the Gundam Zavanya's uh, GM bits, but inside the GM bits they have uh, grappling hooks that they can use to grab onto meteorites to uh, make some really quick turns in orbital combat. That's basically what it is. Are you going to build more mechs? Oh yeah, I do like a minimum three a day. I'll probably make three more later on, so just keep an eye out because I love doing these streams. They're just fun. I get to talk to you guys about mechs. We get to have a laugh, we get to see how closely I can get these things, and then we just chill. And then in between I do some Gundam stuff, and uh, Division. So I always end up coming back at some point and doing three more mechs. And I'm not running out of mech designs anytime soon. So, uh, fun times. I don't know whether I actually took a, uh, a picture of this. Is there a way to make the Banshee? We made the Unicorn! So yeah, we can make the Banshee. We made the Unicorn and then the Full Armor Unicorn, and we also made the uh, Fenix. If I wanted to, I could make the Banshee and the uh, the Silver Fenix from, I think it was Reconquista G? The Silver Fenix was really weird. It just had like a uh, the Destroy Mode inner frame, from what I remember of it. 
yeah, if you ever see any of the Mask Builder videos or streams, then normally it's Gundam stuff unless people do like today and request all the stuff that isn't Gundam just to see what we can make. Oh no, he's getting close! There we go, we'll just spam the, uh, the shotgun. The Unicorn was actually a really good build. The only other orange mechs I can think of that are most orange are the Goof from Destiny and the only version of Ava Double O. Then you've got the, uh, the Arios and the Curios from Double O, which aren't all orange, but they are... They, I'd, I'd say they have a majority orange on them. I'm trying to remember what other suits have orange in them. Like, primary orange. You're right, there aren't really much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in there with a the knife. I can't believe I forgot about those, says Mecha. There's, there's always, like, some other stuff around. It's just whether you remember it off the top of your head. It was like me with the Larvitane's name before. Just sometimes it just co doesn't come to you straight away, or you just think, oh, wait a minute, what, am I missing something here? Let's, uh, let's try and get this, like, mid-slash. Right, wait for it. Oh, no! I got him, like, as he was going for the slash there. I like trying to get those action poses at the end. Didn't work. Didn't work. That always ends up beating me. The double O guys literally look like creamsicles, says Denisia. <laughs> it's, I'm, I can't remember whether I got a screenshot of this or not, so I'm going to get one because I just make screenshots and then put them up on Twitter. So yeah, that was the three for the moment. I will see you guys later on for more streams, whether they be Mass Builder or Gundam. And of course, there will probably be a follow up to one, well, this Mass Builder stream as well. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye.